No Trump! No KKK! No Fascist USA! The day started at a packed Terry Shrunk Plaza in downtown Portland. Federal property playing host to crowds who came to march for impeachment. And we need to fight back. This on the one year anniversary of the president's inauguration. This president is not okay. He is not stable. He's a racist bigot and he needs to go. I want to see Trump out of office. He's actively eroding the rights of women, gay people, LGBTQ people. Within minutes, the rally gave way to a march, a march with chants, signs, and those iconic pink hats. The day reminiscent of the historic women's march one year ago, which came one day after the president took his oath. I can't believe it's been a year that he, I can't believe he's actually made it a year. A sea of people, each with their own reason for being here. To stop racism, to be a supporter for people uh, like the undocumented immigrants, Black Lives Matter, et cetera. This woman teaches preschoolers. Those kids are scared. They hear their parents talking. Uh, I've had kids that quit speaking Spanish because they've been told that they're going to get deported. As the march wound its way through downtown, we saw Portland police on standby. That includes this van, cops in tactical gear, but we never saw them mobilize. The mood here, frustration, but optimism. At the same time, a smaller, more somber crowd gathered at Pioneer Square. This event focused on the Me Too movement, turning a public space into a safe space for survivors of sexual violence to tell their stories. Her grandfather had molested her when she was very young. This woman came to tell the story of her mom, who didn't live to see Me Too. And I think the most fascinating thing is when she went into dementia um, in her final years, she just had all kinds of sexually deviant kind of thoughts and things that just impacted her forever. She started having nightmares about being molested and all that stuff just never leaves you. A day focused on politics and personal pain, all of it reacting to a year and a president that have changed our country. And as we mentioned, there were a handful of other events around town, but those two were by far the biggest. TriMet did have to halt some routes here in downtown Portland, but at this point, no reports of any arrests or incidents from Portland police.